On the day our story began, the little outback town was sleepy and quiet as usual. Mitzi was on her way to Sammy's shop to buy the groceries. Bread, butter, cheese, tea, chocolate for Buster, milk. Bread, butter, cheese, tea, chocolate for Buster, milk. Hi, George! Oh! <gasps> oh! Wow! Oh, Mitzi! Want a toffee? Not now, Ned. Thanks. Huh? Good day, Mitzi. How are you? Fine. That carousel in the window? Oh, yeah. That's just come in. I'll take it. Look, I've got my pocket money. Oh. Uh, I'm afraid that's not enough, Mitzi. It's 15 for the carousel. 15? I don't have that much, Sammy. Oh, can't I have it anyway? I really want it. Maybe if you saved up enough pocket money, you could afford to buy it. But I want it now. Oh, it's not fair. I'm sorry, Mitzi. Meanwhile, back at the homestead, Frank and Buster were busy cleaning. Mitzi had come home to find out how much money she really had. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Frank. Hi, Buster. One, two, three, four... Did you get the tea and bread? No. Five... Did you get it for my cake? No. I haven't got enough. What am I going to do? Haven't got enough for what, Mitzi? I saw the best thing in Sammy's shop today, the most amazing toy you've ever seen. And I'm going to buy it. But Sammy said I didn't have enough money. I need 15. You know, Mitzi, if you want something badly enough, you could save your money until you had enough to buy it. Or you could earn some extra pocket money by doing some little jobs for people. Like what? I can't mend cars and build houses. Uh, not those kind of jobs, Mitzi. Uh, little jobs like, uh, like, uh... Like cleaning Ned's windows. Hmm, that's a good idea. They could do with a good clean, but who else could I help? Leave it to us. The next morning, Frank and Buster were getting ready to go out on their daily patrol. Mitzi was up bright and early too, ready to do some jobs. Frank! Buster! Stop! Have you got any jobs for me to do? Well, the kitchen floor could do with a sweep, but I've only just swept it. An extra sweep won't hurt, Buster. And if you've got a job, Mitzi, we'll give you a silver coin when we get back from town. Great! Thanks! OK. Stand by for... Standing, Standing by. Chocks away, Buster. Chocks away, Frank. Get the gate, Ned. I'm getting the gate, Frank. Buckle up, Buster. Buckle down. find the chocolate for my cake, Sammy. <sighs> I'm stuck. It's Josie's day off and things have got into a bit of a mess. You can say that again. Maybe you need some help. What about Mitzi? Ah, oh, great idea. Send her over right away. That's quite a load, George. <laughs> yes, indeedy, Frank. I could do with a little help today. We know just the person. George wasn't the only one who needed some help. <sighs> Hi, Alice. Are you OK? <sighs> I've just fixed my scooter 
I know it needs a good clean, but I'm so tired. Maybe you need someone to help clean it for you. That'd be nice, but who? Me do it for you. Mitzi, they're clean now. Not quite, Ned. Frank said I had to do a good job. But you'll wear them out. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Ned. We've got some good news. Sammy, George and Alice have all got jobs for you to do. And you might get a silver coin in return if you do a good job. Wow. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Buster. There you go, Ned. See you later. Hey, don't you want this? Mitzi was in such a hurry that she forgot to take the silver coin from Ned for cleaning his windows. Mitzi went to Sammy's shop where she worked very hard indeed. That's a job well done, Mitzi. Here you go. Thanks, Sammy. You've earned it. Then Mitzi helped George deliver his parcels. Good job, Mitzi. There you go. Thanks. And finally, Mitzi helped out cleaning her scooter. Alice thought Mitzi had done a very good job. Thanks, Alice. Back at the homestead, Buster and Ned were waiting for Buster's chocolate cake to finish baking. Well, I helped Ned, then I helped Sammy, then I helped George and Alice, and now I'm Bee. Is it ready now? Ah, it's done. So, Six, did you get enough of the carousel? Seven, eight, nine. I can't believe it. After all that hard work, I still haven't got enough money. How am I ever going to get enough money to buy my beautiful carousel? A piece of chocolate cake will make you feel better. Hey, Buster, maybe Mitzi could sell slices of cake in town. Great idea, Frank. But I haven't got a cake to sell. Oh, yes, you have. You can have this one. That is, if Ned doesn't mind. Oh. It'd make Mitzi happy if you could. Oh. OK, then. Gee, thanks, Ned. You're a real mate. And for that, you're going to get the first piece. Oh. Mitzi set up a stall in town. Can I have a napkin with that, Mitzi? You sure can. It'll be extra. Everybody wanted to buy a slice of the chocolate cake. Before long, Mitzi's money box was full up to the top. The moment had come. I can't believe it. I'm still short of one coin. Will this one help, Mitzi? It's for cleaning my windows. Oh, wow. Thanks, Ned. Thanks a lot. You're a real mate. <laughs> she's been in there a very long time. Oh, I hope she's got enough money. I'm sure she has. Shh. Here she comes. <laughs> Look. I got... Anyone want to go? Yay! Mitzi had worked very hard to get the carousel, <laughs> but the best bit 